Wesley, all the smoke, Drain won the toss, a minus 110 favorite. Now he's one and three, but that doesn't tell the whole story. He was DQ'd for fouls in one of his matches, third match. He had to slap with his off hand because he was injured. This guy can slap Charlie. Yeah, Dan, Wesley Drain will forever be remembered from getting that massive hematoma on his face. But the better part of all that was is afterwards, he turned right back around and he delivered a knockout hit. So he says expect more of that take no prisoner approach tonight because the injuries that have really plagued him the last few months, they're all healed. And like you mentioned, Dan, he won the coin test. So he's ready to bring all the smoke, which is his nickname against his opponent, who he calls his weakest one so far. How about that? Yeah, no, I know, because let's remember, this is an immediate rematch. Now, Wesley says, listen, I'm not bothered, no. Emmanuel hit me with the weakest shot I've ever felt. Even though he lost by a decision, he says Emmanuel hasn't hit his man body yet. He doesn't have man strength, okay? He just hasn't got it. He says that he cannot hit the way I can. He doesn't generate the same kind of power. Which is big talk considering the last time they went up against one another, he actually lost. Does have some MMA experience. Trained and lived at Jackson Wink for six weeks. Wesley Drain looking to make his mark here tonight. No love. Emmanuel Mooney's two and one in power slap. Minus 120 according to the odds. Says his girlfriend helps him train. Allison been, been very supportive. Holds mitts for him a little bit. Yeah, love seeing him doing what he loves to do, which is excel in combat sports and power slap. But listen, he's got an interesting one because the first time he competed for power slap was against Mike against Mike Webster. Mike Webster actually opted to be the, uh, you know, he won the coin toss. And he said, yeah, yeah, no, hit me first. Not Emmanuel, a good idea. Emmanuel said, yeah, sure, no problem. Boom! Sit down, put the man to sleep. Big power, Emmanuel Muniz coming in. Only 23 years old, so he might not be an old man, but he's certainly <laughs> a man, because remember, Wesley says he hasn't got no man strength. Well, I guess we're going to see. Well, Drain's seven years older. Muniz did tell us that he hurt his elbow and wrist in his last two fights. Looking at working on his form and doesn't want to hyperextend. Tale and tape brought to you by 10X. 10X your business, 10X your income, 10X your life. Go to CardoneVentures.com. You can see the age disparity there. Both guys six feet tall, a slight two inch reach advantage for Wesley Drain. And this one is almost as even as you get without being a pick -em. I'm choosing to send it to Justin Bernard right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is three rounds in the Power Slap Middleweight Division. Introducing to you first, striking out of the blue corner. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 and one half pounds. Out of Telecon, Oklahoma, Wesley, all the smoke train. And now, striking out of the red corner, he stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Out of Ontario, California, Emmanuel No Love Muniz. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Gary Hadley. Winner of the coin toss and striking first is Center Wesley Center Drain. Okay, Blue. I need to chalk up, but I'm gonna go. Okay, go chalk up. Drain gonna go chalk up here from Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Father to three kids. Three. Hand and count. Five to nine years old, so you know right he's busy two. at home. Very right busy man two. going Measure. right on two. Let's go, Wes. One. Oh, no love. Does a good job eating that one. Yeah, nice to see him throwing with his correct arm. Remember, last time I threw with his left, this time hit with the right. Decent shot, nothing earth shattering. And we were a little perplexed by that last time, but we did find out that he hurt the knee, so he felt like he couldn't right on twist on right that, on so he had to throw with his offhand. Measure. Let's see how many knees answers. One, two. Oh, he stumbled. Standing count, you ask me. 
see the palm go all the way through. Let's take let's, a listen. Yeah, let's hear this one. one. Oh, boy. Recovered. Two. Oh, 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 that's like, just like a massive overhand right. Uh, I'm really impressed by the coaching okay. of Ryan Phillips. Telling him to breathe, telling him to take his time, but you do have to be mindful of the right, clock. Blue. We are under 20 seconds to go now. Right on two. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to rush back Measure. into it when you just got rocked, which it clearly was. 10 seconds, though. Time to get a move on. One. There you go. Fair yeah. blow. Fair blow. They're calling it a fair blow. It, it was almost like a little bit of like a graze. It didn't, it didn't seem like he got the whole hand on it. Sounded clubbish, but it looked like Emmanuel Muniz could take them all day long. Gave a little grin right after. Let's take a look. A bit of blood flew out yeah. there. Yeah. Left from the mouth of Muniz. Right on three. Right on three. Measure. No, it was a clean blow. We just didn't uh, get the sound that we're accustomed to here at Power Slap. Maybe we will here. Two. So Wesley takes round two. Muniz unable to duplicate what he did in the first round. Looks like that was more fingers. It didn't land as flush as he wanted it to. I got it. According to the odds, We're Michael, doing good, baby. this We're doing good. was Money's expected in the bag. to be the closest Money's fight the on the card. Right Drain there. minus 110. Mooney's coming in minus 120. Here comes Drain in round three. Right, right on two. I was concerned right on for two. Drain, Measure. though, after round one getting rocked the way that he was. The accumulative effect of the blows adds up. But he took that one very well. One. Oh. Fair blow. Fair blow. I love... How Muniz so just kind of bounces back, shit, makes okay? eye contact before he walks away from the table. Straight away over to his clean, coach. Okay? It's your away, fight. All you need is clean. 44 seconds. I mean, he takes a big shot here, eats it well, good game from the ship, doesn't let on, doesn't let his opponent know that he's hurt. Right on he's three. Red, doesn't right give on him three. That psychological advantage. Measure. And as we see here, neck and neck, my scorecard going into this one. One. So, this could decide the fight. Yeah. Fair blow. Oh, wow. Fair blow. I mean, that was a, that's a tough one to score. That is a yeah. tough one. It is. That's it. Both with decent blows. Both fair. Decent accuracy. Don't tell me you're going to go with... Go with what? Can't go with a draw. Good job, Can man. You? Good job. <laughs> you cannot. Let's hang over here a little bit. Yeah. Well, hey, that was, according to the odds, the most evenly matched slap fight on the card, and that's exactly what we got. First decision of the night, correct? It's kind of weird. I don't, I don't know what to do with myself. We haven't had any decisions thus far. <laughs> you better take it. Wesley Drain coming in one and three. We talked about some of the issues he had. First match was a disqualification because of fouls. We've seen some of the foul issues with other slap fighters tonight. Third match, he had an injured knee, so he's slapping with his offhand. hand. Manuel Muniz coming into this one two and one. And it is a rematch. That last fight was a win over Muniz. So you're giving this one yeah, I mean, look, listen. To drain. They're very close. But rounds right. two and three, I think Wesley landed the better shots. You know, Muniz took them well, some nice gamesmanship, but, you know, listen, it's close. Very close. But if I gotta pick a winner, I'll give it to Wesley Drain. I think he takes this one. Going to the scorecards for the first time tonight. We're waiting for the judges' scores to be tallied as we take a look at the super slow-mo replays. This stuff never gets old. Wesley Drain and Emmanuel Muniz going back and forth the first time tonight. We have gone to the judges' scorecards. A slight step back for Muniz, and he comes oh. right back. And that was more of a grazing blow. It always looks a lot worse in super slow-mo. It always does in super slow-mo, but in real time, it hurts way more. But look at that. That's a solid shot. You see the blood go flying from the mouth of Muniz. And now for the official decision brought to you by Kudo Snacks, Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get pop with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. Senator Justin Bernard.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. Judge Diamato scores the contest 29-28, Muniz. Judge Montalvo scores it 29-28, Drain. And Judge Burt scores it 29-28 for the winner by split decision, Wesley. All the small train.